What's going on you guys? Welcome back for another Boss Babe episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordan, I'm so happy to have you. Um, today's episode is gonna be all about attracting money and wealth into your life how to literally become a money magnet and have opportunities and prosperity and wealth really surround you and just find you. These are things that I've learned over the past few years. If you've been a follower of mine, you know that I'm so into the law of attraction. Um, I believe in it 100%. To me, it's not something you have to like believe in or not believe in. Like even if you don't believe in it, it's still, it's still working and happening all around you every single day. So you might as well tap into it and learn about it so you can use it to your benefit absolutely everything that I have achieved in my life, whether it be material things like getting my own condo, you guys know I just got this new place, or buying my dream car, or anything like that that I have attained, that I am proud of, that I've succeeded in, I have gotten through the law of attraction and through the power of my mind by asking, truly believing that I will receive what I'm asking for, and then receiving it. So whenever I learned about the law of attraction a few years ago, it completely changed my whole life and really my mentality. And I do talk about positive thinking and little snippets here and there on my Snapchat and also in other videos. Um, so if you are new, I'm gonna link my other Boss Babe videos down below. Um, this whole series is dedicated to helping you guys in any area of life where you need help, whether it be budgeting and finances. I also have a video how I raised my credit score over 300 points. Just, I know they don't teach you this kind of shit in school and this is stuff that we need. Like we need to learn these vital things as adults so we can live you know the best life possible so I dedicated this little series on my channel to helping you guys with just anything that I feel I've succeeded at or learned I want to make sure I'm truly giving back on my channel and like sharing all the knowledge with you guys um, so I will make another video fully just about the law of attraction in general but in this one it's just literally gonna be about attracting money and wealth into your life and that's not to say that you need to be super rich or have tons of money in order to have a great life nothing like that at all but I mean, you do need money to survive and you also need money so you're able to experience life to the best like capability possible. So you're able to travel and do things with your family and like it's just a necessity that money is needed, you know, obviously to survive and other things like that. So I'm gonna go over with you guys the things that I do with like my vision board and my uh, verbal affirmations that I speak out loud to where I welcome money into my life every single day and then like new opportunities just literally find me. I know a lot of you have also wanted to know which books I recommend for you guys about the law of attraction and positive thinking, like so new opportunities will come your way. Like anything I talk about in this video does not just apply to money. This is how you can attain your dream job. You can attract your dream husband. You can, like you can attract anything you want in life if you truly believe that you can have it and that you will have it. It's so crazy, the power of your mind and the laws of the universe. Like they literally make miracles happen. And I know a lot of you who are new to the law of attraction have asked me if I will share like success stories or like so you guys can see examples of how people use this in their life if you're new to it because you wanna do the same thing. If you're brand new to manifesting something. Um, so that's why I wanted to share a few of my favorite books with you guys because in these books there's tons of examples on how to attract not only money but like I said your dream life, your dream job, everything like that. So the book that we're gonna talk about today is You Are a Badass at Making Money. It's by Jen Sincero and it talks about how she was basically broke her entire life up until she was like 40. So the book is all about her success in making money and giving you tons of tips and tricks to implement into your own life. From the very first word that I read of this book, I was hooked and I wanted to read I want to read it to you guys because I think it will resonate with you. I also am going to be doing a giveaway with this book. Um, I'm going to purchase 3 of them from Target for you guys just so I want you guys to like have this knowledge and if you don't have the funds or anything to or you can't access this book, I would love to give some away to you. So I know I'm just like rambling here, but be sure to check the description box cuz I'm going to purchase 3 of these for you guys, but Check this out, the very first beginning of this um, intro like really got me. So the introduction says, if you're ready to make more money, you can. I don't care how many times you've tried and failed or if you're so broke you're selling your bodily fluids for bus fare or how often you've found yourself center stage at the checkout counter in shock saying, are you sure, denied, that's impossible. Can you run it one more time? No matter how out of the question it may seem for you at this moment, you can make lots of money. Even, I'ma buy everyone I love a house and a gold tooth kind of money if that's what turns you on. I'd also like to point out that there's nothing horribly wrong with you if you haven't figured out how to do it yet. Money is one of the most loaded topics out there. We love money, hate money, obsess over money, ignore money, resent money, hoard money, crave money, bad mouth money, Money is rife with so much desire and shame and weirdness, it's a wonder we can even utter the word 
above a whisper, let alone go out and joyfully rake it in. It reminds me a lot of how we've been conditioned to deal with sex, another gold medalist in the topics that totally freak people out competition. When it comes to having sex and making money, you're supposed to know what you're doing and be great at it, but nobody teaches you anything about it, and you're never supposed to talk about it because it's inappropriate, dirty, and not so classy. Both money and sex can provide unthinkable pleasures, birth new life, inspire violence and divorce. We're ashamed if we don't have it, we're even more ashamed to admit we want it, and we will do things and people we're not nuts about in order to get it. And I know I'm not the only one who has caught myself fantasizing about a stranger dressed like Batman coming up and giving, <laughs> giving me some on a bench in Central Park. Am I? The good news is if you, like most people, have a troubled or conflicted relationship with money, you have the ability to heal it, transform it, and become awesome pals with money that you will wake up one day to find yourself standing in the middle of the life you've always wanted to live. And you can start making this change right now. All you need to do is wake up to what's holding you back, make new powerful choices about what to focus on, and smarten yourself about money and go for it like you've never gone for it before, which is exactly what this book will help you do. So. That's just a little intro. I know I'm already like 10 minutes into the video. If you're new here, I'd like to talk forever, but I have a lot of info on this video. So even though it's gonna be a long one, it's a good one. Um, so literally just after reading that intro, I bought the book. I read that little intro in Target and I was like, yes. I will link this book down below. Stop whatever you're doing, pause the video and go buy it. You need it. I'm on like chapter six right now. It is amazing. The very first thing you have to do if you're ready to make money and be surrounded by money and wealth and you are so sick and tired of being in the current financial status that you're in, whether you're in a job you don't like, you have a shitty rundown car, you're living with your parents and you wanna go get your own place, whatever your personal situation is, the number one thing is you must get out of the broke mindset, the broke and negative mindset. So for example, if you have, a, I've talked about this before, but if you have a really old crappy car and every time you get in the car, you're like, this car is so shitty, I hate it, I can't wait till I get a new car, this car is a piece of crap, I'm so embarrassed to drive this. Those are completely the wrong things to be saying. I can guarantee you the universe or God, whatever it is that you believe in, will not not bring you a new vehicle if you're speaking words out loud of negativity about the current vehicle that you already have. I know that seems really simple and like, oh, that's just that's just positive foo-foo, like la la talk. No, you guys, it's it's so, so true. Uh, Christian's home from school today. He's sitting over here. In the book, The Secret, where it breaks down the law of attraction completely, it states very, very clearly that whatever it is you're going after, you have to act like you already possess it and you must, must, be grateful for the current situation or thing that you're currently in before the thing that you want will come to you. So you literally have to get in that shitty old rundown car and be like, I am so happy and grateful that I even have transportation right now. This car is so amazing. You have to wash that car and detail it and wax it just like you would that new dream car that you wanna get so the universe knows that you're ready for that blessing which will then come to you. You will never ever get anything in life, whether it's a new apartment, something materialistic, a husband, a wife, new friends, if you're speaking about your current situation in a negative way. Um, I really hope that makes sense, but it's like positive affirmations to the max. Like you literally have to be, even if the item that you have, you're, you hate it and you know that it's shitty, by you saying those words, hate and shitty and stuff like that, that's what the universe is hearing. And it's been proven that anything that you say out loud verbally is the type of circumstance that you will keep attracting to yourself. So if you really don't have any money or you're negative in your bank account or you have a shitty job and you're like, I hate this job, I'm broke, what did you just say out loud? Like what, what are you surrounding yourself with those words? You're saying the words broke, shitty, like I'm unhappy. So the universe is gonna bring you more situations that make you unhappy and broke. You literally have to say, I am so grateful for this job, I am grateful for the current pay that I have and I'm working hard to get the job I want or the car that I want. Like, it's, I know it's very hard when you're in a situation that you're truly not happy in to speak positive words of affirmation because you're truly not happy in your situation, so it kind of feels like you're lying. But that's another thing about the law of attraction is that you have to speak out loud. You literally have to speak your goals into existence. This revolves around money as well. In the mornings, I wake up and I pray with Christian. I do a few minutes of meditation where I'm separate from him, where I'm just really focused. And then I always, always say every single morning, money and wealth surround me. Money, wealth, prosperity, op new opportunities, they surround me. They just, they literally flow to me effortlessly. I say those things every single morning, you guys. And I kid you not, I will get like a random like sponsorship opportunity with YouTube or like some weird shit has just like come to me 
um, in the term of finances just because I'm always speaking positively about money. That's another thing, I have a friend, I always go out with her everywhere we go, whether it's food or if she wants to buy something at the store, we'll pass by and look at a certain item and she'll say, oh, I can't buy that, like, I can't afford that, or $2 for a soda, no, I can't do that, that's way too much. And by you saying, saying those things out loud, that is having an extremely broke mentality. You need, like, it, again, in the book, The Secret, it talks about anything that you want, you need to say out loud that you can have it and that you can afford it. Anything that we pass by in the aisles, whether it's something I physically purchased that day or not, I tell myself, I'm wealthy enough to afford that. I can afford that. If I wanted that right now, I can get it. Like, there's no reason I can't get that. There's nothing stopping me. And you might be thinking, well, bitch, my bank account's stopping me. I don't have that much money. Well, that's okay. I'm not telling you to physically purchase that item that day. I'm just saying start off with speaking money and prosperity and wealth into your life. I swear to God, you guys, wake up in the morning and say money and wealth surround me. Prosperity, new opportunities, amazing things are coming my way and they will. Like it's literally insane. Another really big thing with the law of attraction is you do, it states very clearly that you need to ask for what you want, but you do not need to worry about how it will come to you. So, um, like that's not your job. That's the universe's job to get out your way and bring you everything that you're asking for. If you write down on paper and speak out loud what it is that you want, whether that be a new salary, more money, a new car, like I said, attracting your perfect husband, whatever it is, you basically have to ask for the item. You have to truly believe that it will come to you. You have to get in the state of feeling good and truly like getting into that feeling as if you already had that item. You're so cute. The huge point is that you have to feel in your body and in your mind as though you've already achieved or gotten what it is that you're going after. So for example, in this video we're talking about money, you literally have to wake up in the morning, like I said, and say those positive affirmations out loud and sit there and just close your eyes and feel that you already are so much wealthier, you know? By you feeling like that, the universe will bring you, say, a new job opportunity or some money like from like super random stuff that you don't even know is coming your way just because you're putting the positive good vibes out there and thinking positively about money, you cannot have a negative and broke mindset in regards to wealth and money and expect the universe to bring you more money. Like it just doesn't make any sense. So if you're super new to the law of attraction and manifesting things, I know this can sound a little weird at the beginning uh, that you can literally manifest anything in life that you want. I know some people, it's very hard for them to believe at the beginning, um, but you guys, all of the people who are extremely successful and famous and wealthy in life, they all follow the law of attraction. Like Jim Carrey, I talked about in my last um, video, and Oprah, I mean, everyone who's ever attained any type of success in life, Tony Robbins, he is one of my absolute favorite people on the planet because he's so positive and so educational and he's all about positive affirmations and just manifesting anything that you want. Another humongous thing is that you have to be grateful for the money and for the prosperity and the wealth before it comes into your life. So again, if you're asking for like a raise at work, you need to wake up in the morning and say out loud, I am so, so grateful for my new salary. It is so amazing. I am able to pay all my bills. It's so great that I have all this prosperity and this wealth and I am so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's another huge thing. You must be grateful for the money or the possession or whatever it is that you're after before it comes into your life. Because by you feeling those feelings of gratitude and of gratefulness, it's the blessing will come to you. I hope that's making sense. I know again at the beginning when you are first learning about this, it's very like weird. And a lot of people, they find it hard to envision themselves already having something that hasn't came into their life yet because they're like, how can I feel grateful for something when I don't even have it yet? But that's the whole thing. It's just tricking your mind into believing that you already possess those things and then they will come to you. Like, it's so crazy. I've manifested like, before I was doing YouTube, new jobs for myself. The current car that I have, that was my dream car two years ago. I put a picture of it on Facebook and I said, this will be my car one day. And then two years later, I was able to save up money and I ended up going into the dealership like randomly one day and I got that exact car. And then a memory popped up on Facebook a few weeks ago saying that two years ago, I put out that picture because I put that picture out in public and I wrote in writing, this will be my car one day. And I truly believed it. And then when the timing was right, it came into my life. So, and that goes for like anything. I have so many manifestation 
and law of attraction success stories that I can share with you guys um, and I would be glad to if you're interested if you follow the law of attraction or you know how to manifest things and it has worked for you leave a comment down below please please I love reading through everyone else's stories about their success and how this has worked for them um, it's very interesting to me and it will also help for the new people to see that the law of attraction is obviously something that's very real and can completely change your life for the better so for me, on attracting money and wealth and prosperity is change your thinking, get out of that broke and negative mentality and mindset. Do not ever speak any words out loud that say, this is so shitty, I hate this, I hate my current situation, I'm broke. Do not ever say, I'm broke out loud because what you say is what you get more of. So if you say, I'm broke, you're just gonna get more shit thrown your way that makes you even broker. But if you say, money and wealth surround me, prosperity surrounds me, new opportunities find me, I welcome money with open arms, and you truly feel it, I guarantee you, money and wealth will come into your life and it will surround you and you will feel absolutely amazing and you will probably just sit there and chuckle and be like, hey, I said that out loud, I said my positive affirmations, I manifested it and it came to me. And the very first time you manifest something and it does come to you, you will literally sit there in shock and be like, holy shit, this works, this is amazing. And then all you have to do is apply that mindset to every area of your life and you can manifest your dream life. So yeah, um, those are my top like tips for attracting money and wealth into your life. Again, I have read so many financial books and this is my current favorite. It is absolutely amazing. I am purchasing three of them for you guys just because I want you to have this knowledge. It's completely changed me and I really wanna share it with you guys. So check the description box. Um, one of the requirements is just to share this video for me on Twitter or, or Facebook or Instagram and just um, tag me so I see it and I will enter you. Three of you will get this book. I'm also gonna link down below The Magic and The Power, which are two incredible books regarding the law of attraction. And they also lay out a bunch of um, real life examples so you can see how other people have manifested things in their own life. And it teaches you step by step how you can do it for yourself. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super, super long. I know it's like a little dark today. Uh, it's like almost 6 p.m. I wasn't planning on filming today, but I had nothing else to do right now. Just been hanging out with little man all day. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, this whole Boss Babe series, again, it's just about anything that I have learned kind of within the past few years regarding finances and positive thinking, uh, budgeting, um, kind of how I spend money as a single mom. So I'd love to help you guys in whatever area of life you are struggling in. So I'm going to link all of my Boss Babe videos down below. Please give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you were new. I am <sighs> Subscribe! I would be extremely grateful to have you guys. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching this extremely long, rambly-ass video. And go manifest some money. Mwah.